Hi everyone, welcome to Out of Bounds, presented by Ghost Line Entertainment. I'm Sal Capaccio. Welcome into the show after a very, very big Buffalo Bills victory. Of course, we are here at Danny South Restaurant, 4300 Abbott Road in Orchard Park. A very, really wet, not much snow Orchard Park, I might add, after the big snowstorm last week that dumped so much here on the area. Before we get to tonight's show, I just want to say thank you very much to everybody out there who really uh, did so much tireless hard work to keep family, friends, neighbors all safe throughout the snowstorm. It's greatly appreciated. These guys who I'm about to talk to really went through a pretty interesting ordeal, but we all know it's nothing what many fans, uh, families went through out there. People lost their lives in this uh, particular snowstorm. So Buffalo, the city of good neighbors really stepped up and helped out their fellow man, their fellow neighbor. And I know everybody appreciates that very much. So from all of us here at Out of Bounds, thank you for the job that you did, Western New York, especially first responders and government officials. All right, so Denora Searcy in with us as always, but after a win, we're gonna bring our guest right on tonight. And uh, it's a fellow Carolinan, if you will, but from the opposite Carolina. Can you introduce our guest for us tonight. All right, tonight's guest for the show is the very, very dear, true Stefan Gilmore. Thank you very much, Stefan. All right, first of all, we're here on a Tuesday night. We normally do this on a Monday night, so thank you guys. I appreciate that. I know you got practice tomorrow. No problem, but that no said, how much was your routine thrown off last week, Denoris? I mean, after everything that you guys went through, you had to fly out on a Friday after not knowing when and where you were going to play, and then all of a sudden you have to play in a different venue. How much was your routine thrown off? Uh, I would say it was thrown off a lot because I normally go in the facility on Tuesdays, but this week couldn't get in there because that's when the snow started. So I was snowed in ever since Tuesday. So just going back to sitting around the house, it was kind of weird because uh, after a couple of hours, you're like, okay, what do I do with myself now? Like, I, right. I, you watch so much film to a point where, like, you've seen, you've seen pretty much everything that is on the iPad. So it's like, okay, now I just play video games while I watch a movie. So it just got pretty boring after, after, a, few, after a few hours. Stefan, how, uh, how did you prepare for the game uh, knowing that what he just said? Like, what was it like? Tell me, did you guys have conference calls with your coaches? Did you do text? What did you do? Yeah, we had a group text going, just talking about um, the situations and, um, what, what coverage is going to run against them. We already pretty much knew our routes and stuff like that from watching the film. But um, we was communicating, um, FaceTiming, and, and communicating with coaches. How much did it help that it was a divisional opponent? You had just played them a month earlier. I mean, if it was a team in, in the other conference that you'd never seen before, I, I imagine that would have been a little tougher. Yeah, it was a lot um, easier to play the Jets because, as you know, mostly the majority of what they're doing is they pretty much ran the same routes they ran last time. Um, plus a little bit more, but we was prepared. Now, Michael Vick played in this one. Obviously, he started the Norris. What was the difference in game planning? Did you guys actually have to specifically game plan for him differently than you did Geno Smith the first time around, knowing that, you know, Vick can still scoot out the back there with the football in his hands? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Well, um, either one of those guys can scramble pretty good, but we know what Vic has been able to do in past years, we knew we had to come in prepared and ready for that. We just had to make sure we keep him in the pocket. Um, if he was able to get out of the pocket, we let make him go to his right. Uh, so, I mean, it was, it was, it was a pretty strategic game yep. plan that we just stuck to it and we executed and we came out with a victory. All right, so tell, t walk me through, Stefan. Once you get to Detroit on Friday, you guys flew out on Friday, you get there, you start getting back into routine. Did things feel a little bit more normal and once you knew that everybody was safe back home and did it feel more just like in a regular away game once you were out there and you started practicing? Nah, not to me. It didn't. Really? Um, Friday when we got there, it was kind of, we had, I think we had practice that night. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, you're not practicing for four days, three or four days straight. You feel kind of, you know, you don't feel the same if you take that much time off. So it was good going, going back out there and being with your teammates and getting back ready to um, beat the Jets. Well, you guys are, you know, professional athletes. You're so used to routine, but also, Denoris, nutrition-wise, lifting, things like that. Like, how much did that mess with your head, even as much as physically? Uh, it messed with my head a little bit because <laughs> I, I ate a little bit more snacks than I should have. I know that. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I, could, I couldn't go anywhere, and I wasn't right, going to try right. to go out there and that. No, there's no way possible I was going to do that. So, I mean, I uh, had to cut back, uh, make sure a lot. It was a, found a hot, hot hot tub or steam room as soon as I got there and just had to get my body back right and get my body back adjusted. All right, well, before we end this uh, segment, everybody's good? Family, friends, you guys are all good? House, no damages, things like that, right? Everything's good? Everything's, Everything's good. good. All right, that's good to hear. It's always good to hear. We'll come back. We'll learn a bit, little bit more about Stefan Gilmore. Again, you get, might be interested to know uh, where he grew up. There's some famous other players that went from his uh, hometown and to his school, South Carolina, even connections to the Buffalo Bills. We'll learn about that when we come back to Out of Bounds, presented by Ghost Line Entertainment.
Welcome to Excuria Salon and Spa. We invite you to come in, enjoy, relax, and restore, serving you with the finest and traditional modern techniques from around the world. Our stylists don't follow trends. They interpret and adapt cuts and colors for your individual lifestyle, while integrating the latest looks and in-hair fashion. Pamper yourself with our professional nail treatments, our European facials, or a relaxing massage. Excuria Salon and Spa, share the experience. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Bova. Bova Family Chiropractic has been serving the Western New York community for over 20 years. Our professional staff will welcome you to a friendly environment. We specialize in acute and chronic pain for work injuries, motor vehicle accidents, and sports injuries. Full x-ray facility is on site for immediate treatment. We also provide preventative care with a licensed massage therapist on staff. Most insurances are accepted, including Medicare. Call today at 675-4134. Skip the retailer, forget the wholesaler, buy your diamonds where the pros buy. Come to Diamond Cutters of Western New York and see our brand new 4,400 square foot office showroom. We were the very first diamond cutting operation in Buffalo. We have the largest selection of loose diamonds in Western New York and have our own in-house custom designers. Our experienced staff can help you choose or custom create a jewelry design that fits your personal taste. Buy where your favorite players buy, buy direct from the diamond cutter. Out of Bounds is brought to you by Diamond Cutters of Western New York. Buy with the pros buy, buy direct from the Diamond Cutter. Excuria Salon and Spa, the finest in traditional and modern techniques. Savor the experience. Bova Family Chiropractic, 1953 Ridge Road in West Seneca. Feel the healing hands. Stumps Gymnastics Center, 2187 Worley Drive in Williamsville. By Montebaro Heights, luxury senior apartments from the Brothers of Mercy. Buy Flixtures on the web at www.etsy.com slash shop slash fixtures. And buy Buffalo Battleground Airsoft Arena and Store, providing birthday parties, walk-on play, and gaming five days a week. Welcome back to Out of Bounds, presented by Ghost Line Entertainment. We want to thank Diamond Cutters of Western New York, Excuria Salon and Spa, and Shea Bands Tailoring and Dry Cleaning. Make sure you go and visit those places because without them, Out of Bounds would not be possible. And of course, everybody here at Out of Bounds, we're glad that you're with us tonight. We're glad that you're safe back home and uh, enjoying the TV show tonight. Everybody here on the crew looks like they're safe and sound as well. So it's always good to see. Hey, it's Buffalo, it's snow, it melts. We deal with it all the time here. But as Anthony Booby Dixon said, next time he hears lake effect, he's running. That's what he said, right? That was pretty crazy. I mean, unbelievable. Did you ever see a snow like that before? No, nah, i never seen nothing like that before. It was crazy. The, the part that got me was when I'm um, just sitting in the house all day. I don't, I don't think I ever sat in the house that long before. What'd you do, man? Did you play video games? What'd you do? I don't know. I just... <laughs> you don't even remember, right? Remember. You can't, you can't yeah. even remember yeah. that, I know. Yeah. All right, let's talk about this game. Uh, you guys, big win over the Jets, obviously. 38-3. to I mean... 81 points scored on offense against the Jets in two games. Uh, a, a defensive effort that you guys shut them out of the end zone, just a field goal. What was really the reason why you guys, and why have you been so dominant against this team, Stefan? Why have you dominated them twice this year? I think because um, we, we communicated, um, we knew their routes, and I mean, as a secondary, I know we, we knew their routes, and um, we just played physical with them. We did, we knew what they was gonna come out and do, and we stopped it. Speaking of physical, Denoris, there was a series of probably early third quarter, late third, maybe early fourth, after the block punt, you guys, I mean, Percy Harvin just got abused on a kick return, and then Stefan came up, and, and on Jeremy Curley, I think it was, had an incredible hit. Mm -hmm. At one point, I was like, oh my God, you guys are laying the wood. Did you start to just really start to say, we are, we're we getting after these guys? What is it like as a defensive player when that starts happening? Well, we, we want to come out and jump on them from the, from the get-go. We want to come out and um, start fast and show everybody that even though we had a little delay with the weather. We, we haven't lost a step. So that was our main goal, is to come out there and start fast and click on all cylinders. And then once we start feeding off one each other and the tempo kept building and building and building, we just wanted to keep that momentum. Tell me what it was like watching Robert Woods in that game. He was amazing. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, he was balling. I mean, you know Woods, he's he a great receiver. Um, he can make plays, um, you get him the ball. So. I mean, I, I expect that from all our receivers. Woods was, was going to be a great player in this league. Yeah, he had, he had an incredible game. Breakout his first 100-yard game of his career. It's really nice to see a young guy have that. Uh, and also Duke Williams on the defensive side. Denoris, yeah. your, your secondary teammate for you guys. Mm -hmm. His first interception. That was nice, right? Yeah, it, it was great to see him finally get one. Um, now we, now the only guy in our room that doesn't have one is uh, Nikhil Roby. Wow. So we was kind of uh, in his ear a little bit on the plane <laughs> ride back. So now, so now, so now he, he's upset with us. He told us he got to get one. We, but we kind of messed with him. Cause he, he should have had one yeah. the, uh, the first series That's of the right. game. So I mean, 
Uh, we just tell him he, he got to get in the club now. So that's his that's his main goal. Wasn't just offense. Wasn't just defense. Special teams got involved in the act. Your buddy Manny Lawson gets a touchdown after a beautiful block punt by Booby Dixon. What's incredible is. Now, maybe we don't know the scheme here, obviously, but on TV it looked like he was the only guy actually rushing the punter. Everybody else was in punt safe mode. That's what it seemed like. But how about Booby <laughs> getting that block punt, uh, Stefan, and then Manny Lawson falling out. you got to feel good for him. Yeah, it was big. I mean, Booby, he's he a great special team player. He's also a great running back. Um, he always go hard. He always hyped up on the field. So when he made that play and Manny um, returned it for a um, touchdown, it, it was a big um, momentum swing, and we just fed off that the whole game. Denoris, is this something you guys can – Kind of rally around everything that happened in Buffalo. It seems like you guys came out and really played for the city, played for the region. I know Booby said to the camera, this is for the south side after he blocked the punt, you know, and gave a little <laughs> shout out there. Scott Chandler had the snow shovel shuffle, I think, after the touchdown. Right, he was right, doing right. You know, so uh, can you guys be galvanized by this and, you know, come together even more as a team than you already were? Oh, absolutely. We've shown that through any adversity, we can still come out and play play great and play as, as one team and as one unit and get the job done. So we just want to feed off this and keep building off this, and, uh, and who knows what can happen. And, of course, we always want to play games at Ralph Wilson Stadium, but even though it wasn't there, how about that crowd that showed up in Detroit for you guys? Oh, it was great. Uh, had one, we had a few Jets fans that booed yeah. us, but, but once those Bill fans got going, uh, the Jets fans got drowned out, and once the – like halfway through the third quarter, the whole jet side was like clear, so it was just Bill fans there. It was and then great some side. Lions fans showed up just to boo Jim Schwartz, by the way. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't like that. You like yeah. playing for Jim Schwartz? I mean, uh, what kind of a defensive coordinator is he for you guys? I like Jim Schwartz. He uh, he's a great coach. Um, he put us in position to make plays. He he go call a game um, according to our strength, how the game going. So I like him. He, he's a great addition to the team. All right. Well, the Bills now sit at six and five. Cleveland Browns coming up. We'll talk about them when we come back after a timeout, but also got to get to a little bit about Stefan Gilmore's interesting summer. Something big in his life happened. We'll ask him about that when we come back to Out of Bounds. Earlier this week, our Vic Ace Vito was in the Bills locker room. We talked with the players about the big upcoming matchup against the Cleveland Browns at the Ralph. And uh, got another good uh, good test for us uh, this week, and have to uh, have the same focus we had going into into last week. Hey, uh, talk a little bit about Robert's game the other night, uh, but that seems like that was kind of a, one of those breakout games. I mean, he, he's been a pretty good player here, but that was sort of a breakout game for him. I just, you know, he came out and played with, uh, you know, great intensity and uh, thought he had a great attitude, uh, you know, just really the, the whole week of practice and, uh, you know, kind of feel a big game coming from him. But obviously, you know, when he started off the game with the nice catch that he had on the sideline and we were able to get him the ball, uh, you know, pretty much throughout the game. So uh, he made great catches, 
Uh, obviously, the big red zone touchdown for us to start the game, and uh, you know he's 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 that type of a player. You know he's got great hands, he's got great body position, and uh, he's um, he's a good player. Uh, I thought we were physical up front. I thought the running backs did a good job of finding the holes and making some big runs, and uh, we were very efficient in the pass game and uh, did well on third down, did well in the red zone. So probably our best all-around game as an offense, and would love to keep that going this week. We got great tight ends with those three guys that rotate in and out. So they got some good skill positions with uh, the rookies in the backfield running the ball hard. So they got some pretty good skill, skill positions, and they and they uh, I mean they score points. They get the ball in the end zone. So it's going to be a tough task, but we're up for it. In spurts, we've shown that we can be good, and you know, if we do that for a whole game, you know, pretty much like we did last week, we can show that we can be really good. You know, so uh, I think that's just a challenge for us: is consistency and uh, you know, make it a habit. Oh yeah, every week now is a must win. So this is a big game for us, a team that's on our side of the league, and they got a better record than us. So we're trying to overtake them. So we got to come out there and get the win. Welcome back to Out of Bounds, presented by Ghost Line Entertainment. I'm Sal Capaccio, along with Denora Cersei, as always. Stefan Gilmore, our special guest here tonight at Danny South Restaurant. All right, well, Stefan, you grew up in Rock Hill, South Carolina. We'll get to more of that in a moment. But first, you went to South Carolina, the University SC, the real SC, right? The real USC, yeah, the real not, not the other one over there, yeah, right? Yeah. Don't, right? Don't, don't let Woods yeah. and Roby hear you say that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Be an argument. Right. Now, I know your rival is Clemson, but how much of a rival is it with these guys, North Carolina? Because, you know, the two Carolinas. Uh, well, really, I didn't play against Stefan in college. Huh? Uh, I, play, I played against South Carolina my, my freshman year of college. But I didn't play against them anymore. So I mean, I mean, it was not that big of a, of a rivalry because, like I said, we didn't play each other every year. But uh, different I, conferences too. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So, but I, I would say if we did, though, it'd be it'd be a good competition. Why did you choose South Carolina? I read that you had some offers. You had like 30 offers, basically. You had Clemson, Tennessee. Yeah. Could have gone anywhere. Yeah. And especially from your area, a lot of guys like to go to Clemson. Why did you choose South Carolina? Just because it was close to home, and um, a lot of players that went there, um, I was real close to, and was successful at the next level. So. I figured that I, I could go there and play under Coach Spurrier and um, Ellis Johnson, and, and it was the best decision of my life. Yeah, it's a, it's, he's done a great job turning around that uh, program from when he took over. Coach Spurrier, they've done an unbelievable job. All right, well, we always put our guests on the clock with Denoris, so Denoris yeah. has a few questions for you to answer about yourself and to see how much you know even about yourself. Here we go. <laughs> All right, you was the first of four straight Mr. South Carolina to go to the University of South Carolina. Who was the other three? So you won Mr. South Carolina football mm -hmm. in 2008. 2009. 2009, okay. Yeah. You went to the South Carolina, then the next three guys also won that award and joined you as teammates. Who it, were they? It was Jadavion Clowney. That's right. It was Marcus Lattimore. That's right. Uh -huh. And the one, I think he's there now. And um, Sheldon Royster, maybe. Shaq. Shaq Rowland. Shaq Rowland. There yeah. you go. You got it. You got it. You got it. Now, you, gotta, you, gotta, now, you were a teammate with Jadavia and Clowney in high school. Yeah, That's we, amazing. Yeah, you know, we, we played together two years in high school. We grew up in the same area. He probably stayed three minutes away from me. Um, uh, that's what's up, man. So, Cordero Patterson's from there? Yeah, Cordero right? Patterson from there. Um, Lots of guys. In, lot, fact, lot of guys. in fact, we have another question for you related to the Buffalo Bills. I think you know this one, though. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> what was the, who is the other former first rounder that's from Rocky area? For the Bills. He was a former oh, first-round um, DB. Jeff Burris. Jeff Burris, yeah. very good. Jeff Burris <laughs> went, is from Rock Hill just like you. Did you go to the same high school? No, we went to, he went to my rivalry high school. Okay. Um, but we still talk now. He, he actually the assistant DB coach for the Miami Dolphins. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so what okay. is it in the water in Rock Hill, South Carolina that produces, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move to Rock Hill, South Carolina so my <laughs> son can become a football player and believe professionally. It's crazy, man. It's not a big town. <laughs> yeah, it's a small town. We just, I mean, that's what people, it's big in South Carolina, especially Rock Hill, but um, they just put a football in our hand when we were a young kid. What's it like on Friday nights there? It's crazy. The stadium <laughs> packed. Um, people betting over the games. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's, oh my God, it's like a crazy. college football game. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good about your high school and college career, but we got another one for you here about you personally. All right. You got married in July. Mm -hmm. Where did you and your wife spend your honeymoon? We actually didn't go on the honeymoon. Our honeymoon was training camp, but I went to Turks and Caicos. Wait, you took your you took your wife to St. John Fisher for yeah. a honeymoon? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, congratulations. You got married in July. You got yeah. married in July. <laughs> Saw some pictures. Uh, your Instagram, uh, Gabrielle, is your uh, your beautiful wife. You guys have been together a long time. Your high school sweethearts, I guess, right? Yeah, we've been together six and a half years. That's um, crazy. A long time. Um, She's been there with me from the beginning. You know, she know everything about me, and it was a, a blessing to um, marry her today. 
So what now for the question? Did you you don't have you taken a honeymoon yet? Are you gonna do something? Uh, we went to Turks and Caicos before the wedding because okay. uh, we got married so late, and um, I had to report to training camp, so I couldn't really <laughs> go nowhere. Um, so we go do something in the, um, off season whenever that time is. The Norris, where'd you go on your honeymoon? I went to the Bahamas. <laughs> Bahamas, oh, yeah. very nice, yeah. very yeah. nice. Yeah. Your wife, uh, your wife like Buffalo. She like living in Western New York. Oh yeah, she loves it. She loves it. She yeah. loves it. She loves it. I thought you were talking. No, about that's all right. Yeah, yeah, she likes, she likes being here. Yeah, she I know. Likes, I see. I see yeah. you guys around town. I saw you at the Chicken Wing Fest. Do yeah. you guys enjoy Western New York life, just like people here do? Yeah, she loves it. Um, she loves it. She she like it um, because it's quiet and it's, it's laid back and it's not a big city. Um, she one thing she, she just um, she didn't like the snow this past sure, week. Sure, Everybody sure. didn't like that, but yeah. she she loved being here. She just loved um, watching me play and watching me do something I love doing. Well, you tell her you guys know already because you've been here enough time. That's not normal what happened. <laughs> yeah. So right, that's not normal. That was a little bit crazy. All right, we'll take a final timeout. We'll come back and we'll talk about the big, big, big game on Sunday against the Cleveland Browns here at Ralph Wilson Stadium, which is really just over my right shoulder. I don't think I could throw a pass and hit it, but I might try someday. So we'll come back and we'll talk about that. When we back and out of bounds. Skip the retailer, forget the wholesaler, buy your diamonds where the pros buy. Come to Diamond Cutters of Western New York and see our brand new 4,400 square foot office showroom. We were the very first diamond cutting operation in Buffalo. We have the largest selection of loose diamonds in Western New York and have our own in-house custom designers. Our experienced staff can help you choose or custom create a jewelry design that fits your personal taste. Buy where your favorite players buy, buy direct from the diamond cutter. Welcome to Excurious Salon and Spa. We invite you to come in, enjoy, relax, and restore, serving you with the finest in traditional and modern techniques from around the world. Our stylists don't follow trends. They interpret and adapt cuts and colors for your individual lifestyle, while integrating the latest looks and in-hair fashion. Pamper yourself with our professional nail treatments, our European facials, or a relaxing massage. Excurious Salon and Spa. Share the experience. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Bova. Bova Family Chiropractic has been serving the Western New York community for over 20 years. Our professional staff will welcome you to a friendly environment. We specialize in acute and chronic pain for work injuries, motor vehicle accidents, and sports injuries. Full x-ray facility is on site for immediate treatment. We also provide preventative care with a licensed massage therapist on staff. Most insurances are accepted, including Medicare. Call today at 675-4134. Out of Bounds is brought to you by Diamond Cutters of Western New York. Buy with the pros buy, buy direct from the Diamond Cutter. Excurious Salon and Spa, the finest in traditional and modern techniques. Savor the experience. Bova Family Chiropractic, 1953 Ridge Road in West Seneca. Feel the healing hands. Stumps Gymnastics Center, 2187 Worley Drive, Williamsville. Buy Montebarro Heights, luxury senior apartments from the Brothers of Mercy. Buy Flixtures on the web at www.etsy.com slash shop slash fixtures. And buy Buffalo Battleground Airsoft Arena and Store, providing birthday parties, walk-on play, and gaming five days a week. Welcome back to Out of Bounds, presented by Ghost Line Entertainment. We're here with Stefan Gilmore and, as always, Denora Searcy here of the Buffalo Bills. Big win for the Bills on Sunday against the New York Jets. Monday night, excuse me, against the New York Jets. A quick turnaround against the Cleveland Browns a team that the Bills are very familiar with. They played them seven out of the last eight years, and they're now fighting for playoff position with the Cleveland Browns. This is a team that gets Josh Gordon back. He already had over 100 yards his first game back. That's a guy you really have to contend with, Stefan, in the secondary. What's it like going against a guy who you really know is going to, uh, you know, has so much talent out there, and all those other guys, Andrew Hawkins, another one, and, um, you know, Jordan Cameron. It's always good going against them guys because, I mean, um, they accomplished so much in their career, you know, they're making plays. So it's always good to see what your, your talent is against theirs. All right, Denora, so now you get Mike Patton coming back. This is your old defensive coordinator. He's now the head coach of the Cleveland Browns. It's, I mean, I know you, you, know, you get along with Coach Patton, but you're competitive. How special would it be to try and beat your head coach when he returns to play his old defense? Uh, it would be real big, especially uh, the defense come out and perform the way we know we can. And, um, just. Especially if we come out and just and shut down their offense, it'd be it'd be big for us to show kind of the rub it in his face like you left and uh, this is what <laughs> happens. I mean, so it'd be it'd be really good to get that win against Coach Patton. How much do you guys pay attention to the uh, standings, Norris? I mean, you, you know you have to. One, it's one game at a time. We know the old cliche, but you know where you are. You know where they are, right? I mean, if you beat them, you jump them in the standings. How aware are you guys of this stuff? 
Well, I just found out it would beat them with jump. Uh, jump there you go. So, See, there you go. <laughs> so I mean, so that's good. I mean, that's for me to worry about. You just go play. <laughs> right, right. It's just for us to just go out there as, as one team, one unit, and just just keep our level of, of, of focus and intensity. Let, let's keep building off off the game we had yesterday and just keep moving forward. All right. So now you had Stefan. You had the quick, uh, the, the obviously the stuff that happened last week. Get a flat on a Friday. It was a totally different. We talked to you about that. How different is it playing on a Monday and then playing on a Sunday? Does it throw off your routine having that? extra less day I guess no I don't think so because I mean we done been through a lot I mean right. even through the past week so we I think we um, as a team we adjust to whatever the situation is um, and just get ready to play a, a good football game and um, Coach Marone and um, Swartz and um, Hackett they have a great game plan for us and then obviously Cleveland coming to town it's a Another city that's kind of like Buffalo. It's uh, on Lake Erie, a bit of a rival. It's good to have them here, though. How big will it be to have it back at the Ralph in front of the fans? First game since the snowstorm. It's got to be special for you guys. Yeah, it'll be big. You know, um, it's always good playing against um, Cleveland because they're kind of like a, a, um, a town like we are. Um, cold weather, and um, they got they playing at a high level right now. So we're going to have to bring our A game and um, be a physical team and go out and win a football game. Uh, Fans, they talk about all the time. Well, you know, six and five. Everybody's seven and four here. Whatever. How much do you guys try to not let that bleed into Norris? Because I, I imagine it's got to be tough to have people all say, "Well, yeah, you're six and five, but you're not really in the playoff race." We all know that's not true. I mean, if you keep winning, you're going to make the playoffs. But how much do you have Absolutely. to keep that out of there? Uh, you have to block it out because it's been it's been plenty of teams that's been six and five and made late pushes, and uh, some of them even went on to win um, Super Bowl. Absolutely. So I mean, you, you never know what can happen. Like you just got to keep taking it one game at a time and just go out there and just get the job done. All right, Mario Williams, I gotta ask you guys about him. He's been a man possessed, <laughs> man. I mean, he, he's played, I think, the best, you've been here since he's been here. He's played the best football in a Bills uniform that I've seen and talked to him after the game. He said, he's in chill mode is what he is. And he says he's playing with no pressure, which is ironic because he's putting pressure on the other team. But right. do you feel, do you sense that, that Mario's playing just uh, you know carefree and doesn't seem to have the pressure that he's had the last couple of years because of the, the contract that went along with it when he first got here and things like that stuff? Uh, yeah, I think um, Mario just coming out and having fun, you know. I mean, yeah, this, you can look at it that way. He got paid a big contract, but um, Mario, he liked playing football, so that's one thing he loved doing. Um, and he playing at a high level right now. Nobody can really stop him yet. Um, and he making plays. Fun is the word that he used. Fun is the word that Aaron Williams used. Are you guys having fun right now with the Norris? Absolutely. Well, I, we always have fun, especially I always have fun. As long as I get to put that helmet on, I'm good. I, I, that's the best the best thing that we can do. We uh we play in a, a kids game, so I mean, ain't no other way but to do but to do it was to have fun. All right, before we go, I want each of you guys one time just to look in there and tell everybody, give everybody a good happy holidays message. Just say happy holidays, West New York, whatever. Give somebody a shout out <laughs> back home, whatever you got to do. Happy holidays, Western New York. Um, I want to say hey to my mom, my dad, my four sisters, and one brother, and my wife Gabby. Happy holidays from the Cersei family. Like, give a shout out to my wife, my daughter, Kenna, uh, my mother and father, my my six brothers, and then my six, six sisters. brothers. <laughs> wow. There you go. I didn't even know that. Love all you guys. Hey, happy holidays from all of us here at Ghost Line Entertainment. Happy Thanksgiving. Please be safe out there. Eat lots of food. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy football. Then get to the Ralph and cheer on the Buffalo Bills. If you can't, Come down here to Danny South Restaurant. We'll be back here next Monday night. We'll tape another edition of Out of Bounds. Thanks a lot, Stefan Gilmore, for coming aboard. No problem. Thank you all for coming out. Happy holidays, and we'll talk to you next week.